Hiya folks, Gord Pizer here and I want to talk about six degrees of separation perch. Uh, you know, we've been out all winter in 25, 30, 35 below conditions, and now it's absolutely gorgeous. We're, we're late winter, early spring. It's uh, plus conditions today, and throughout northeastern Ontario, you've got some of the greatest yellow perch fishing in the entire province. Honest truth, some of the best in the world. Uh, I'm going to tell you a little secret today about that six degrees of separation that's going to help you double, maybe even triple your catch of jumbo yellow perch uh, in these conditions for the next two, three, four weeks. Now, six degrees of separation, you know, that, it was kind of a popular theory and what that means is six degrees of separation. Uh, almost any person, or in fact every person on earth, uh, when you look at your connections of friends, through any five of those, you can connect to anybody else on earth. So through five people, you can hook yourself up with the Queen of England or uh, the King of Siam or whatever. Uh, now what has that got to do with yellow perch? I'm going to show you a little secret, a little trick, and it's, it's about separating your bait. Now sometimes you want to separate your bait, uh, whether it's a minnow head, a soft plastic dressing, you only want to separate a tiny little bit. Now this is one of my absolutely favorite uh, yellow perch lures happens to be a snap wrap or a jigging wrap style bait. And what I've done here is I've taken a fast hatch clip and I've removed the treble hook that originally came on that jigging wrap. I've taken the treble off, I've put a snap, uh, a fast hatch clip on it, and I've separated my hook away from the main bait. Now, this I'll tell you a little story. Uh, about uh, eight, ten years ago, a uh, very good friend of mine actually invented the fast hatch clip, Bernard Young Set from String East Tackle. And he actually invented it to tie on the end of your line uh, to kind of replace a snap so it made uh, changing your baits that much easier. And anyway, I got onto this little trick that I'm going to show you and I kept it a secret for probably five, six, seven years. And one time we were filming, Doug Stangy was something we were filming in Fisherman Television. And Doug knew I didn't want to tell anyone about this secret. And anyway, right on camera as I was landing a big yellow perch, Doug walked into the scene, turned to the camera, and he said, Gord, that's a neat trick uh, you've done on your lure there. Why don't you show the folks what you've done? And so the secret got out uh, of using these fast statch clips. Bernard told me after that In Fisherman television program aired, he could not keep fast statch clips uh, uh, supplied to the dealers that, that entire season. So here's the secret remove the treble hook and then you put one of these fast hatch clips on and it simply separates your hook uh, from the bait and then what you can do is because that's a fast hatch clip you simply take your hook and, and give it one good twist and you remove uh, the treble. Now I can put a soft plastic dressing on that, I can put a minnow head on it and then when I've got my my dressing on I simply put it back on the bait Again, make one twist, so put it on the bait, make that one twist, and it's back like that. That's a tiny separation. When the fish are aggressive, when yellow perch are aggressive, many, many days, that's the only degree of separation that you need to make. And why that's so good, number one, it has separated your, your, your bait, the, the triggering bait down here, the minnow head or the soft plastic or your maggots, and here's the attraction. So as you jig that, this bait is what's calling the fish in and attracting them. Then when they come in, here's your minnow head hanging down. And so the yellow perch is locked onto that. When he opens his mouth and flares his gills and creates that vacuum, it simply slides right in. The bait doesn't have to move. The, the, the hook simply slides right into his mouth. So that's a short separation. I'm going to show you some longer ones now. As the bite gets tougher and tougher, you want to try these next options. Now, talking about degrees of separation, this is probably my all-time uh, number one perch bait. Um, and what it is is a blue fox tingler. And again, I've put one of these fast hatch clips on the back. Uh, what's so cool about when you do this 
is there's always two phases to every time you make a presentation. And so when I jig this up and let it fall, uh, what happens is the spoon creates a flash and vibration. So it flashes, flashes, calls the fish in, and then when I see the perch come in, I totally let it sit. And it, if I've, whatever I've got on here is a dressing, uh, again, whether it's maggots, wax worm, live minnow, uh, minnow head, all of a sudden they've been drawn in by the flash of the spoon and they hit the bait hanging down. So again, a combination. Here's one of the keys though, again, that's probably as light a spoon as you ever want to use. Anytime we're talking about uh, dropper rigs uh, for yellow perch, you always want to use fairly heavy baits. So a flash lure calls them in, and then the triggering aspect is this little degree of separation hanging down. Now let's move out and get a little bit longer in our six degrees or five degrees of separation. Now this is a clam speed spoon and as you can see uh, with the clam speed spoons there's actually a chain here and we're starting to lengthen the degree of separation between your your main bait and what's good this is the attracting phase here's the triggering phase and it's amazing with yellow perch uh, they love this bait being separated the tougher the bite the more separation you want up to a point and that point is about an inch and three quarters to two and a quarter inches you don't ever want to go longer than that when you buy these baits they're already pre-rigged uh, so you can't go any longer you've always got the right uh, size here so there's a clam speed spoon and this has got a single hook and it's even got a little bit of a, an attractor a bead down here on the bottom superb uh, sometimes I'll I'll put some uh, uh, maybe some euro larva on the back I might put a, a, a maggot or two on the back and, and again the best of all possible worlds something that pulls them in and attracts here's what triggers and makes them bite and again when that yellow perch comes in he's locked in on the bait this is heavy, but when the perch flares his gills, the only thing that moves is the bait right into his mouth. And these chain baits, separated from your main lure, are deadly for yellow perch. Now, let me, let me show you one other thing. Uh, same speed spoon, clam speed spoon here. It's got a treble on it. And, you know, you've got to play around. Many days, uh, the trebles here with the uh, bead locked right in, it's epoxied right in. That's all you need. You don't need any other dressing. When the perch are, are coming in, they see that and they just lock onto it. And that's your degree of separation. Uh, an inch and a half, inch and three quarters, no more than two and a quarter inches. When you start making it longer than that, you have a risk of your lure, uh, the hook coming up, uh, snagging onto your main line. So two and a quarter inches, two inches, absolutely perfect. Now. The last thing I want to show you is making your own dropper rig. And again, deadly presentation. Now, I showed you the clam speed spoon uh, with the chain rig on it, and they come standard. Uh, but that doesn't mean you can't make your own. Again, the really key important thing is never go longer than about uh, an inch and three quarters to two and a quarter inches. Now, what I like to do is I'll take a heavy bait. This happens to be a Fergie spoon. Uh, and I want that heavy bait keeping it straight below the hole. Uh, when I jig it, it falls fairly quickly. I get the flash, it attracts the perch, and then they come in and they see the minnow or the minnow head or the maggots below uh, on the hook. And I really, really favor, a uh, little secret here, but I really favor these red Gamagatsu treble hooks. Just something about those uh, bleeding red uh, treble hooks with the minnow head or, or some maggots on it that's just a deadly triggering mechanism. Now, if you know the Fergie spoon, uh, you know it as one of the best walleye uh, and yellow perch baits ever made. And normally the uh, treble hook's here, and it's actually got another treble hook here, and what it's got is a clacker system on it. And when you shake it, uh, the rattle, uh, two glass beads between a brass clacker, uh, you get that bang, 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 that noise factor, and it pulls walleyes and yellow perch in. Now, when the bite's tough, I like to take the uh, clacker off and fish it plain Jane uh, with the dropper system on. But when the yellow perch are going pretty good and they're biting really, really well, I actually like keeping the clacker system on. And so you've got the best of all worlds. You've got noise, 
you've got vibration, you've got flash, and then when the yellow perch come in, you've got this six degrees of separation, and this pulls them in, but then they focus only on your hook, and they hit that minnow head, or they hit those wax worms, or they hit those maggots, and it's some of the best fishing you've ever had for yellow perch. You try it over the next three, four weeks, anywhere in northeastern Ontario. Whether you like to ice fish around Sudbury, North Bay, up towards Tomogamy, uh, maybe over in the uh, Larder Lake or uh, Kappus Gasing areas far up into Cochrane, uh, cross over into Hearst, does not matter where you go. Six degrees of separation, you are going to double, triple, maybe even quadruple the number of jumbo yellow perch you're going to catch in the days ahead.